Welcome to Ruby's Wish. I'm Kate and I'm playing the narrator. This is a story about a woman called Dorothy, who for short is called Dot. Dot is confused about words. She can never trust herself to use the right ones, especially when she's flustered, which is most of the time. Sorry. It's just my dog died yesterday. No more poop. <laughs> <laughs> Great having all you clown doctors around. The kids absolutely love it. Except if they die. <laughs> Bobby, that word is much too for long for a family show. What word? Dirty word. word. This is also a story about a little girl called Ruby. I'm Ruby. I'm seven and three quarters. For real. Ruby spends most of her time in hospital. It's because she's not very well. Sometimes when Ruby's very sick, she feels absolutely tiny. I don't want you to get upset, but you're gonna have an operation. When? Tomorrow. It's okay, Dad. I'm not scared. Guess what? Surprise me. I've got a wish that I really hope comes true. She's made this wish, you see, and I think, I think the wish is to turn eight. And oh, Dorothy, please, I'm begging you. I can't even make a proper paper crane for goodness sake. And I'm her dad, and, and I feel helpless. Ruby's dad doesn't believe that a thousand paper cranes will make a wish come true. He doesn't believe in anything he can't touch or see. And this is the story of how Dot helped Ruby make her wish come true. I'm scared, Dr. Audio. Wave. Oh! There's a huge wave. But Dr. Audio, I can't swim. I can't swim. Already buried deep. Six feet under string, but no one seems to hear a thing. Do you know that there's still a chance for you? Because there's a spark in you. You just got to unite.